Jordan's loved ones. This wasn't quite the circumstances in which I wanted to put out a video for today, but you know what? We might as well just do it because we're doing it. So this is in respect to a little bit of history regarding how I got here, why I got here, and what I'm about to do with here. So let's just first uh, allow me to shed some light on some history with respect to A, the, uh, the old past Divergence website. That was uh, pretty much, it was, I don't want to say it was undermined, but you know what, the gentleman that was a friend of a friend that was involved as the web designer, uh, in the initial stages, everything was pretty good. Um, the gentleman was very uh, dismissive with the, I don't want to call it the opportunity, but let's just call it the bigger picture. This was a gentleman who had no exposure to anything that we're talking about here. So you have, I don't even want to call that 3D. I would call that like 2.5. Because when you have a public or a social citizen who's just immersed in the system, believes in it completely, and yeah, although, it, albeit it might be a kind of a shitty shit show, point is, is that this gentleman uh, had no exposure to the things we talk about here. So he went from a crash course position within a matter of weeks, I'm talking several weeks like this, to go from zero to wannabe hero uh, in this length of time is, is very demanding. I was very demanding when it came down to putting this website out as fast as possible. Um, I had a conflicted uh, uh, relationship with this gentleman uh, kind of from the beginning where, A, when I, when, when I have to deal with dismissive people and people that don't think that we can and people that don't believe that that would happen and, oh my God, you're out to lunch, you'll never... That, that type of attitude, to me, again, this is 2.5 to 2.75D. This isn't even 3. We are of a faith where we know we as the loved ones were put on this planet to do a specific task. And the odd thing is that we didn't even know what the task was here until pretty recently. So, long story short, the website failed as a result of me not getting enough done through this particular gentleman at the time frame that I wanted it in a respectful manner that I wanted it. Again, if I call on you at 8 o'clock on a Friday, and if you can't jump, and if you say, oh, sorry, Darren, I'm just out for dinner, uh, I, I, can't, I can't do anything for you, I can't answer any of your questions, I can't do anything, call me tomorrow. That is not what I'm looking for at all. I want that. I need that. We need that. We need that out of all of us. So long story short, this was a progression of events, and there were six of them that finally led to me saying, no, okay, we need a new web designer. And right in the middle of there, because I'm a, I'm a pretty trusting guy, again, trying to teach trust concepts and, and trust. I don't like the word cons. When we're trying to teach these trust expressions to the world and how how vitally important they are, I mean, I put a lot of emphasis on this. I put a lot of a lot of heart behind this, a lot of soul. So when I'm working with a teammate, that I don't want to say that the gentleman wasn't doing his job because you know what? By most by most factors, he was, but it wasn't enough for what we are doing. Okay, so he was comfortable with the position. He didn't feel like my expectations were reasonable. Fine website had to go down but again in the meantime there because i was trusting i let the web designer have all the keys and again i don't know fuck all about digital tech website creation shit so gentleman web designer was in the possession of the keys to build the entire website when he took the website down he took it all he credited it for himself this gentleman had no exposure to truth law equity common law any of this stuff so for this guy to try to maintain a case that this 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 the the content of this website was all by his design is ludicrous. Secondly, uh, the website went down, and yeah, we talked about putting up another one, but you know what? We ran, I ran into problem after problem after problem after after individuals. Oh yeah, we'll help, we'll help, we'll do, we'll do. And again, remember, loved ones, I literally and Dean, we literally had to quit our jobs. Again, I used to build houses for a living. Um, building houses for a living 12 hours a day and then trying to do all this stuff, it just became too much. And I mean, don't, don't, don't think for a moment that I didn't put in an honest effort to achieve that. The only reason Dean and I got as far as we did is because we built those houses together. I'm handing him a two by four. He's holding the other end of it while I'm fixing this side. And we're talking about legal stuff. We're talking about, well, what ifs? And we'll talk about, oh, remember when the judge said that? We were able to develop and unwind this whole thing as far as we have today uh, for the last 25-ish years. 
So in the in the very beginning there again, though this is leading up to where I'm going to talk about uh, the Divergence's future here and the Queens, specifically Jody and the role of women and what it plays here. So I'll get to that in a minute. Way back when, when the when the internet was in its infancy, Dean's uh, what would you want to call it? A presentation was so popular. He struck such a chord with people. And again, I've said this in other episodes. Within the first three months of Dean's first YouTube videos, we were up to something like seventy-five or seventy-six thousand views. One morning, we wake up and there's seventeen hundred. Built back up over the next month or two. Got back up to forty-five, fifty-five, whatever, somewhere in that. We woke up again. Oh, 2,200 views. Three times this traveling mechanism has happened. Then it got to a point where the views stopped. I've suggested this before as well. The views stop with us. The closer you are to the truth means the less views you'll have. If you're spouting misguided, misappropriated, almost good, but you know what? The information you're putting out is not going to get you through the gate. They will let you have all your views because you don't have the rock solid truth yet. And again, loved ones, keep in mind here, I'm not just talking about being a beneficiary or having the ability to accept things and 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 per, and, and live your life as a beneficiary. I'm not just talking about being private. I'm not just talking about having your debts paid for. I'm talking about stuff bigger than that yet. These are just steps. These are just places and moments in time that we all had to travel through to get to that ultimate larger, higher position. I've known this for a big portion of my life, but I wasn't able to put it together. I And I'm a pretty astute guy. I don't miss a lot of detail. I wasn't able to put all of this together until I'm going to say 15 years ago when I started to really, truly appreciate why Dean and I were here and our specific relationship to each other that needed needed to occur exactly the way it did to put us in the positions we were to experience the things we did so we could talk about it, teach, learn, and expand from there. I don't care if Chris Hauser, I believe Dennis, you said his name was, has got 13,000 views. I I wish that the gentleman had 130,000 views. At least he's not being censored like we are. And again, if you want to track the chronological history here of who was who and when and where, you're going to find that Dean and I and several others were at the very forefront of this before anybody ever heard of this stuff. Again, I'm not here to pat myself or Dean on the back. That's not what this is about. But we need to be realistic with who the players were and the contributions that they have made. Has Chris Hauser gone to jail yet? Well, then I don't care if he's got 13,000 views. Has Chris Hauser spent 90 days in solitary confinement? Has Chris Hauser... And again, I've never met the gentleman. I've never watched a video of his. I'm appreciative of everything he is doing. And and again, Dennis, you were suggesting here uh, that he's talking about the beneficiary stuff. Great! I wish there was a million more people out there on the internet talking about this stuff. Everything I can do to help a guy like Chris Hauser without even meeting him, without doing anything, I would offer that. That's what we're here to do. Again, don't confuse views with quality of content is what I'm trying to express here. Moving forward. Um, A while back, I was made very aware that my presentation and Dean's presentation... (laughs) uh, I can't remember if this was a newspaper article or if if this was was a a comment by a lawyer or where where this came from. It wasn't even just a normal YouTube type thing. This was something else, like a news broadcast type of thing, where back in the day, I'm talking, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 years ago, they referred to Dean and I specifically and a couple of others as, <laughs> I'm not kidding, muscular free man type who, ass- who aggressively assert their position. Like, ah, uh, interesting way of titling this event. Point being, because of mine and Dean's attitude, I would rather call, again, I don't like con words, but I'm going to use the word confidence here because we know what that's basically trying to imply. The system did not like the confidence Dean and I had rolling in because it was inspirational. That's why we were shut down. That's why Dean was thrown in jail more times than I can even remember for no reason. And this is why Dean got himself out of jail more times than I can already remember for a reason. 
we kept coming back and we kept coming back and now we're publicly saying we don't care if you kill us we're not going to stop and by them we know who them is I realized a number of years ago that this alpha muscular free man type and yeah you know what I'm not 140 pounds I build houses for a living do you think you're going to have a certain appearance yes but for them to materially attack us now Again, we'll, we'll talk about the, the makeup and showing up in person or not in a moment. I'll, I'll address that as well. Loved ones, I was made very, very aware that we needed an alpha female presence energy with us. We weren't going to pull this off in a balanced fashion if I didn't bring that. So what do I do? What do, I, do? I never even shared this with Dean. Dean I, to, to be honest with you, loved ones, I don't even know if Dean is really even... Uh, watching these videos and I don't care I see him every day we talk every day he doesn't need to watch my videos we talk about this kind of stuff all the time he's got his hands full doing things that I don't want to talk about here but the guy's pretty busy our presentation our particular moment in time is lacking a very significant woman feel a woman's energy here this won't work with just alpha aggression muscular free man type I was told hey you gotta go get the feminine bring and bring it in so I, I'll shit you not I've been looking for women for I don't know 10 years one of my exes from know, 7 8 years ago now pretty alpha pretty on the money she actually happened to work in a law firm she totally believed in the things Dean and I were talking about I thought she would be the one that would be able to come in, pick up what Dean and I were laying down and help distribute it. Um, believed in creator and the loving whole motherly thing. Yeah, everything was great. But you know what? Dean and I were getting put through the ringer so bad back then. Put through the grinder. We were being arrested all the time. It got to the point where it just was too much for her and her family. She chose her and her family over the movement and what Dean and I were doing. And I held no ill will against that. Fast forward eight more years, okay, so I'm still looking for a female presence. I'm still looking for women that have the capacity to even remotely entertain what it is. We're looking for the warriors, the warrior women, the wonder women, the ones you see in the movies. Because I know that that's the type of personality, I know that's the type of uh, determined soul it's going to take to balance and bring this thing into a, a state of being or it's it's equal this is why now I'm being told to bring the younger ones into this as well get equity into their minds so it was, it's man, woman and child and eventually if I could talk equity to dogs and cats I mean laugh but I kind of do that already I was supposed to broadcast a message as far and as wide as I was able to Dean and I just keep hitting the alpha male, aggressive male button. Wasn't, yeah, don't get me wrong. It was stirring a lot of women as well. But you know what? Again, the whole point here, loved ones, Dennis specifically as to why I'm doing this video. I called upon Jody to fulfill this role. She almost doesn't breathe and think anything without me knowing about it. This whole thing that we're doing is by my design that I've gotten from somewhere else. Jody is constantly being put through the meat grinder every day. Subtly, she doesn't even know it half the time until three days later she goes, Ugh. That's the level of mindful presence that's at play here. She's being tuned. Our subsidiary queens, Ravina, Kim, Serena, Nat, others in the future others that are in a holding type pattern right now because they're trying to balance a lot of what's going on they want to see what's happening before they're able to put pieces together and really take stuff forward to come in and do what we're trying to do i'm ultimately trying to say here that jody is not the saboteur and the reason that the divergence platform went down that's me loved ones directing and issuing orders Jody Kim, have the site pulled. Boom, they go and do it. Jody, put this up over here. Boom, she goes and does it. Kim, I require this to be done over there. Boom, she goes and does it. 
Ravina doing an excellent job in the background with all the stuff we're doing. Nat, loved ones, we have so many capable women coming. <laughs> what Again, you have to understand here, I was told to put a big group of women together and then step back, let them do what they were meant to do. The world has been run by tyrant men, all by design, right? This isn't, this isn't news. And again, I know that this turns into, yeah, the government's spraying chemicals on us and they're poisoning her. Yeah, thanks, Tips. We know. Dean and I were way ahead of the... Dean and I were some of the first conspiracy theorists. Literally, I shit you not. We were way before Joe Rogan and Alex Jones. Go do the research on it. Uh, both those guys did not want Dean on his show. Moving forward, the ladies here play a key role. And if you actually think that Jody has the ability to undermine my spiritual connectivity with Creator, you're on crack. I'm an architect and I'm an engineer. I don't miss very much. I have orchestrated this whole thing. I'm the one being guided. I'm the one being pushed. And I'm trying to get people to come on this train. I'm trying to put people in places where they can express their passions and become very, very proficient teachers. Jody's one of the most spiritually gifted women I've ever met. Do I want her with what I'm doing? Yes. Kim, the rest of them, coming on putting stuff down, showing others that, hey, this thing's wash, rinse, and repeatable. Kim, I'll just go here for a moment. Uh, let's just say six months ago, maybe a little longer. Again, like our gentleman web designer, had no clue about any of this stuff. It completely changed her life within minutes when she heard it. And now she's the one of the most committed, determined women I've ever seen. In the background, doing stuff, loved ones, again, this doesn't look like there's a lot of tech going on in the background here, but I see it every day. And I know how shitty I am at doing it. And I we, we couldn't do what we're already doing if it wasn't for these ladies doing their stuff in the background here. Again, and I've already stopped building houses for a living. I haven't touched a hammer in almost two years now. I haven't driven a screw into plywood in two years. Because this is all I do now. And again, kudos to Mr. Uh, brother Chris Hauser. I think that was his last name. For putting effort in and doing this and making progress and stumbling on to information. Again, loved ones, there's no greater experience that I've kind of come to feel when it comes to chasing something. When you know that you're, there's a truth out there and you're trying to find it. Can you imagine when you start to find it? That, that turned on feeling? It's Indiana Jones, just as he's about to achieve the, 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 the sacred element. It doesn't matter what movie it was. It's like that feeling all the time. For people to call us conspiracy theorists, these are the ones that have not done the research. Because you know what? As boring and as, you know, I don't want to say tough, because well, it's kind of tough, as reading statutes and legislation and codes are, all you're doing is reading one multi-layered manifest. It's like a script to a movie. You've got all these characters, you've got all these... Uh, positions, you've got all these things going on. And when you read enough of this stuff, you actually start to develop in your, in your mind a picture. You can actually see what's going on. You can actually see what they're doing. And I know you got to go and Google a whole bunch of definitions of words. And again, this is all the legwork that Dean and I have done for many, but it, it wasn't an exhaustive platform. There's a lot of words out there that are still coming up almost daily. Oh my God, look at the meaning of this one a common word that we've been using a lot but yet the legal system has, has put a twist on it and they will now utilize the new definition of this word that's a lot different than what we were trained and led to believe so back to the Jody and the women scenario here again I'm being told to put a group of women together that are more than capable these are women that are above and beyond these are women that have been trained and again I do a lot of military type thinking. When I'm putting this program together, I use the Navy SEAL training program as my go-to manual. I remember putting, making comments about this in the past where coming into Queen School, this is the equivalent of BUDS training, basic underwater demolition. You gotta blow up a whole bunch of your old life 
let the pieces settle and then start building again. And then through the SEAL training program, these guys are pushed to the edge. I said, I don't think there's any women in there other than G.I. Jane. These guys are pushed to a limit where they are broken several times over to meet and find new thresholds. That's why they're the elite of the elite. <laughs> when these guys roll onto a scene, they take command. doesn't matter what other op is going on. When the SEALs arrive, they have control of everything. So again, these guys are at a level that's top-notch. I'm trying to put together a class of women that represents a Navy SEAL type program using equity, love, spirituality as its fundamental basic underwater demolition principles. And there's a lot to it. I'm very uh, detail-oriented. Oriented. Um, again, I have to have contingent things built in on the fly so that we are prepared when your plan A goes sour, do you have your plan B? Boom, execute. You don't stand there and think about it. You're already doing plan B. Now, if your plan B goes sideways, guess what? There is no plan C. Again, more SEAL training. These guys don't go past plan A, B. They wing it from plan B. Otherwise, you get caught up. Okay, well, what if this happens? Oh, shit, yeah, we never thought about that. Okay, so if, if you put that happening and you put that happening together, okay, well, what if this happens? See, you can't plan for all. You can't have plan, uh, okay, we got to go to plan A1-23. <laughs> no. Rather than exhaust all the possibilities, they just get really good at handling everything. These guys are skilled operators. No matter what comes at them, they can just deal with it on the fly. And they know through their training, they can anticipate what their brothers and their teammates what they're going to do and how they're going to react at the same time. So when I'm trying to build a Navy SEAL program here, and I got a web designer who's throwing a, a wrench into the spokes, I dealt with that enough times. I encouraged him to come with us. Don't worry about what you're worrying about. Da, 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 a couple days later, it's something else. And then I would have to deal with that fire. And then something else. And then something else. And the point being, I was unable to work with this gentleman. So I essentially put the command down to stop it. It had nothing to do with Jody. It had nothing to do with Kim or Serena. This is me. Putting all of this together so that you, loved ones and others, have a shot at doing one of the greatest and most profound honorable things a man or a woman can do. If it wasn't for Dean and, you know, several others like Adam Back again, uh, Marcus, there's probably a dozen old school teachers that were doing this stuff that we were all talking. Okay, loved ones, we all knew each other. Without us laying down that foundation, there would be no Chris Hauser today doing what he's talking about. We took it on the chin back then, opened the door, showed the system, hey, if you poke us long enough, we don't care if you try to throw us in jail. I have a, I have a, a very good friend of ours, he, 21 years old, rolls into court to help his brother who was charged with a traffic offense. Judge starts beating up on the brother a little bit in court. My friend stands up and says, "Well, Your Honor, da 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 da." The, 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 the public system did not like being being embarrassed the way it was. Judge finds these two guys in contempt of court and sentences them to thirty days in jail. Twenty-one year old here had enough confidence. He was a personal friend of Dean and I, so this guy was no dummy. This guy was able to stitch a handful of comments together, and as they're being taken away in custody to cells. The sheriff unlocks their cuffs, opens the back door, and fires them out the courtroom. They never went to jail. But the public records showed that it did. They did. Through operation of the doings, we were able to format a whole bunch of do this, do this, don't do that, and don't do that. These loved ones from back in the day laying down this premise was inspirational. Which is a lot of the reason why you're here now. And given the fact that Satan's little system out here is pushing us all to the light. That's what it's meant to do. It's, most, it's meant to chasten us. Hit us with the fucking stick until we go to the light and find it. And in that journey, we were supposed to be clean. I know we were talking about clean hands doctrine there a little while ago. Clean hands, loved ones, has nothing to do with putting makeup on. That is not a mask. Eyeliner and lipstick... 
it's not a mask. I have other religious friends uh, back in Manitoba who were telling me stories where their church was so strict that a, a, a single woman with, I believe she had two children, who was just coming into this congregation, half-broken woman, needing spiritual help, needing love from sisters and brothers and people of like mind, came to this church, and she walked into church one day with, with inch-and-a-half heels. Guess who was removed from the church? Because of her appearance. This loved one is not the mask I'm talking about. You can wear six inch heels. You can wear a revealing top. You can wear a skirt halfway up your thighs. We don't care about that appearance. The appearance we gave a shit about was the one where you're acting in person. That's the appearance. When you appear to be and try to be at the same time, you cancel yourself out. You don't exist. There's a moment in time there. Well, that's where we're trapped. We're appearing all the time because we signed paperwork. We didn't know how to get out of it. So the court operates on that presumption that you appear to be when summoned. Now you're summoned all the time. At a moment's notice, you're summoned. Because they know you're going to act in person. They know you're going to represent. They know you're not going to be present. You're going to represent. If you're reing, you're not in the real. You can't re real. It doesn't work like that. So I'm just going to spin this as we go here. I brought women in specifically that I chose that are of high moral fiber character, that can take a beating, a punishment, a mental breaking them down, seal style, so that when they rise, they got wings this time. And they've always felt like they had them, but they just had no way of actually using them. That's why we all feel frustrated daily. And I'm imploring parents to start removing some of the things amongst our children and how we treat them and how we conduct their affairs for them in advance and how we try to lay down a, a path for our children to follow. What I'm suggesting is let's adjust that path because your path wasn't clean enough. Clean hands doctrine has got nothing to do with having eyeshadow on. Did Christ not sit with the prostitutes and the thieves and the lepers. Do you think the leper has a mask on when their face is so distorted you can't see them anymore? Are you going to chastise that man or woman too? Oh, you're wearing a mask. <laughs> you're not allowed into the kingdom, really? My older, wiser brother and I are telling you to sit down and shut the fuck up. Because you don't know what the fuck's going on. I've been doing this a lot longer. I've been exposed to a lot more things and I do not wish them upon any others. All it took was one or a couple, a handful of us to experience certain things and then share that and teach to the best of our abilities with others. Am I here to round up all the 3Ders, the 2.5ers, who chances are are never going to hear the message? No. That's throwing pearls to swine, loved ones. Not me taking and putting presentations like this together and sharing as much knowledge and truth and wealth of information as, as I have with you. If you think that's throwing pearls to swine, sit the fuck down. It's not. Throwing pearls to swine would be me going and chasing the 2.5ers and trying to convince them to come with me and us and do what we're doing. And they're just like, nope. But I keep wasting my time by chasing these ones. No. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. And even that, if you want to call a class of people who are just ignorant swine. Again, I know that's in the book. But you'll notice the book is evolving. And if you don't think there's a third one coming, again, sit down. Watch the show. <laughs> Point being here, loved ones. I have no problems throwing the odd pearl to the odd swine. As a matter of fact, 
everything I'm doing would classify under that regard, would it not? Because unless you have perfected your interests under a trust indenture and a security agreement and you knew either to send it to a judge to refer it to another party, I don't know, maybe the Attorney General, unless you've done all this stuff and you've corrected your state of being, I don't even want to call it status no more. Because at the end of the day, loved ones, when we're talking about the legal interests and the equitable interests, we have the ability to have both of these things operable within ourselves right now. Again, when they say we forfeited our equitable interests because we neglected to use it, and under statute of limitations, if you don't express it within seven years, you forfeit it. Now you're deemed to be something else. By default is what it's called. Yeah, we had that person attached to our state of being. You can use this thing properly. You can frame your claims. Again, the deeds coming, loved ones, I know. I'm just super swamped doing stuff right now. As a matter of fact, maybe today I'll post a, a picture. I'll, I'll show you a, a one chunk of it so you can get an idea of, what, of the, the verbiology and, and the, the, the state of awareness that's being presented here. So, yeah, I'm on a mission to find a bunch of women because they know how to mother better than I do. Makes sense. Part of healing ourselves was coming to terms and grips and understandings and inner standings and all kinds of standings between men and women. Learning how to communicate, learning how to share not being confused and conflicted and chasing 3D material things in that 3D public spectrum. That realm is hell. How can a man and woman develop a meaningful relationship in hell, do everything that they're meant to do, have offspring, the house, the fence, the dog, the cat, all of it in hell? you probably don't quite think it's hell because you look out the window and you're like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. I don't see flames everywhere. Hell is when you've been in prison and you don't know it. Satan runs this place. We know that. Scripture says that. And it makes sense. And It, I, it makes sense. We understand now why when Scripture says that we're born into sin, yeah, we know how. Thanks to Caesar and Satan's little subtle construct. There are subtle little twists there are little deceit. It may have been insignificant, but it was everything at the same time. How can you putting your name on a certain little piece of paper instantly put you in hell? How is that possible? Well, if you don't think you can sell your soul, if you don't think you can try to profit from your wrongdoing, if you don't perpetuate this day after day after day after day, if you don't continually bring harm to your neighbors and friends and family through practicing iniquity, deceit, there's where the unclean hands comes in. It has nothing to do with you going talking to your neighbor having lipstick on your mouth. This is <laughs> a poke trying to stir the fire. If, if, if these are just legitimate questions, you know what? I suggest you, you send your questions to our 1-800 number. Don't air questions like that on these platforms. That's not what it's for. That's stirring the pot. That's trying to create controversy. That's trying to make me look bad. Which, technically, I don't really give a shit. But I'm trying to maintain a platform here and preserve a certain energetic frequency. So when you come in and you start poking my highest ranking queen, you're poking all the subordinate queens. And guess what? You're poking me. So, Dennis, if you want to continue to poke me, go ahead. I'm telling you right now, man. Not even face to face. I'm doing this for a specific purpose. I'm doing this for a real reason. I'm way ahead of the curve. I'm trying to help as many people as I can. I'm burdened with a great thing where I actually have to make decisions. I actually have to do things that influence people's lives. I have to hurt feelings. And I get to save them. So it works for me, and I can sleep with it all night. Don't think for a second 
that anything that's got Divergence's name, logo, anything that's coming out of our camp doesn't have my imprint on it. I oversee everything. So just let that sink in for a moment. Jody is not the saboteur coming in and, and taking me away on her cult-like magic carpet. Again, what culture do you participate in? So don't tell me I'm a cult leader. Don't suggest Jody's a cult distributor of things. You know what? You're in a cult too. You just don't know it. How much of that social studies did they ram down our throats as children trying to imprint us with cultural values? You might want to take a step back and, and, and take a look at the word culture. Anything in Caesar's realm is a cult. And then we got the occult. Again, I've said this in the past. If you really want to get a good breakdown on cult and occult, watch Mark Passio. Another heavy hitter. hitter another, another information bank. I don't know. Another one that just has a direct line to the Akashic Records and can just spew shit. Watch that guy's presentations. Sit down. You're going to want a notepad. Phenomenal man. And he self-admits and professes to have been a part of one of these dark cult practices. That's why this guy's got so much knowledge. Because he was in one of these cults. He was in one of these programs of whatever they do. I don't define what I do as a cult. But you know what? At the end of the day, if a 2.5-er wants to label what I'm trying to do with this message as being a cult, go ahead. I don't fucking care. Because I only care about what they think. I don't give a shit about the opinions of the 2.5-ers. Do I love them as man and woman, brother, sister? Yes, of course. Do I care about their opinion? No. I don't give a shit about their opinion. If I did, I would buy them a bottle and ask. Okay. <laughs> what else do we got to touch on here? These women are to have all the knowledge I possess. Spread it over 144 of them. That's what I'm ultimately shooting for here. And do I think there's 140 women out there that have the potential and the ability and the, the, the capability to do what we're doing? Absolutely. They're out there. They're already... They're, they're searching for us while we're searching for them. It's just a matter of that coming together. Now, our, our training program, it was as hard as I could make it. And I put some effort into making it hard. I don't want flubies. That's like flakes and newbies put together. Okay, flubies. I don't want that class of woman coming in and just not being able to handle what I'm putting down. This is not meant for the weak. This is not meant for the subordinate in character. This is not meant for those that can't walk into a battle, face evil, and just know stuff. Not go, not turn around, come running back and pass, you know, no. Again, if you want to use modern day Hollywood films like The Avengers, you got a handful of superheroes taking on these elements. Most of them are outer-worldly, and again, outer-worldly could happen. Something that we just haven't been exposed to is outer-worldly. That would be alien to us, correct? Yes. So I'm trying to put together a group of, a group of Wonder Women that have got some serious fucking skills. Jody has been doing her spiritual teachings for almost, I think it's about 12 years now. She has volumes and paperwork and recorded meditations and stuff. I've seen it. She's been doing this a long time. And I've instructed her to take no shit. Don't tolerate 2.5er opinion. So when it comes, when it may sound like Jody's coming down with a... Yeah. That's what SEAL training looks like. Not wasting time. We're not here to save you from your feelings. As a matter of fact, we're supposed to bring, you, bring your feelings and go right in your face. There. Help you deal with stuff so that you have a chance. Because now you're not wasting time. You're making the most of today. You have the opportunity and the possibility to do something today greatly more advanced than what you did yesterday. And even if you had a great day yesterday. Have a better one today. 
keep going, keep moving. Keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Again, more military stuff. Keep moving, keep moving. You don't you don't just sit in one spot in the middle of a battlefield. You got to keep moving. Yeah, bullets and shit are whipping past your head. Yeah, I know it's not fun. I know there's a lot of cold, wet, dark holes you got to crawl into. I know you got to eat some really shitty things sometimes. And I know it's going to be psychologically demanding. It's meant to be. How do you think we ascend if we don't push ourselves there? <laughs> you, we have to get ourselves to the platform where the ship's coming. Because that ship comes to the platform, we get on it and it goes, correct? If you want to stay in your house, in your living room, or maybe hiding in the basement, because you've done no work, you haven't addressed your feelings, you haven't got past, you haven't overcome any true life obstacle, you haven't really technically proven your worth, you haven't proven your ability to super achieve in the moment if you had to. That's the whole point here. When you get your feet pushed to the fire, do you run or do you stand? What do you do? Well, this is what this program, Divergence, was all about. Again, I remember, again, when I was talking about the, the, the Queen's development and comparing it to a SEAL training program, I remember comments from gentlemen online saying, oh my God, you're, you're disgusting. What kind of a man would even talk and say such a thing as this one? That's who. I'm not like the average guy. If I was the average guy, we would have all been fucked. It took guys like Dean and I, and several others, to trigger a series of events that have led to today. Yeah, protesting and convoys are great. Great. But you know what? They're all acting in person. Our convoy would be better suited if every one of those truck drivers went and did some of the divergence work. And Chris Hauser. The gentleman's got 13,000 views. He's on fire. Anything I can do to promote that gentleman, I'm on it. Right on. We're one big happy team, right? Yes. Love it. Let's get the truck drivers informed. Let's bring up the knowledge of the truck drivers. That's what I'm after. Again, Dean laid this one out five years ago. There was a, a march against Monsanto movement where a million people protested. They took the day off work. They did this. They did that. They all met. They made their signs. They did all their shit. They, uh, Dean's like, you know what? Okay, for the $100 that you all spent to take a day off work. Okay, now Dean's being very conservative with the $100. You had to take the day off work. You had to make your sign. You had to go do all that stuff. $100 is a light number. It's... Dean said, okay, you million people, take your hundred bucks, put that together into a fund, and go start buying land. A hundred bucks. You could probably do that every fucking weekend. A million people investing a hundred bucks to go buy land. We wouldn't have the shortage of land that we would now. We wouldn't have farmers being dispossessed of their farms because they don't have the knowledge. We would have had an army of people acquiring the use of land using equitable land in the day, some common law principles, to get it. We would have had informed people, I shouldn't even say the word informed, we would have had people with knowledge and wisdom out there as a freaking army doing all this stuff. Again, I did not do well in math, okay? Probably because I just didn't give a shit. I didn't try. I did okay in science, geography, social studies. No, I didn't give a shit about that. Art, yeah, super excelled at art. Gym class, fantastic. There, that was my school schooling program. And you know what? I never graduated. High school, never graduated. Two credits short. And I'm proud of that one. What was I just saying? Uh, Dean, I failed math. What's 100 t times a million? All I know is that there's a bunch of zeros there. Alternates to protesting. Yeah, when you put a million people in the streets, you're going to shut down this and shut down that. And you know what? Eventually, in the, pub in the public's interest, if commerce is being inhibited, the military comes in or heavy police presence comes in to disperse the crowds. They haven't quite done it yet. 
because they're just litmus testing. They're trying to see, you know, what's the what's the reaction going to be. But you know what? I'm suggesting here, loved ones, yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but it doesn't fix your rights. The government isn't going to just give you your rights to you. And I'm talking about the equity ones. I'm not talking the legal ones. The government will continue to give you legal ones all day. They've been doing that. That's their that's their motto. That's their mandate. That's what they do. The, their, that chartered corporation will continue to create bylaws within its charter to keep us all in further enslaved, really, is what it's doing. We know that. So get the knowledge, get the wisdom. And if you've got a corporation in your pocket, all I'm suggesting is that we learned how to use it a little better than identifying as the corporation. And again, this has got to do... Uh, the layer on the level I'm at, loved ones, okay, I'm past just being a beneficiary. I'm here to greatly improve what you see out there. I've taken it upon myself to do much larger things. And I'm standing fast with that. That was my life's purpose. I know that. And I've been doing it the whole time. Dean can attest to it. Other loved ones, friends of mine, they, they you know, again, I talked about this, they can tell you stories for days. But look, the things I've done. Point being, the things I'm doing right now are of great concern. They are of great significance. They are of my doings. And I put a lot of my life's energy into everything I do. Go figure. So when Jody puts a post up yesterday about, okay, everyone, again, we want to see your faces. We want your real name so that I can develop a real connection with you. For no other purpose. If that is problematic for the viewers, then you will suffer a loss. You will not be engaging in the energetic moment with me because you won't be able to come on to the programs anymore, the schoolings, the, the teaching, the, the live shows, my live shows. I'm trying to show a different path. I'm trying to give people something that they've never really had before. But I'm asking you to be as real as possible. I'm trying to be as real as possible. I've been doing it for a long time. If you can't muster up and meet me halfway, then there's a breakdown in our relationship instantly. What type of relationship, Darren? A trust one. How do I trust ABC? <laughs> Unless your birth certificate's actually got, this is your first name, ABC? Okay, fine. But the connection I have with Source, I'm here to report, to witness and report my eyes directly report somewhere. They're watching everything through these right here. That's why I've got a better equity set than most. I'm not claiming to have the best, but I'm definitely number two. Whatever these eyes, mouth, heart, puts out there for you, I want it to be for you, not an acronym. Not another fucking fiction. Not another person. I would rather deal with a man who's wearing lipstick, eyeshadow, a little bit of blush. Ooh, you're looking kind of good. I can deal with you and your energy. That to me is not a mask. When you come to me with a name though saying, oh, I am ABC. I have a hard time relating to ABC. I can relate to a man with makeup on. You see the difference? I want to know John. I want to know Dennis. I definitely want to know Chris Hauser now. You see the difference here? Don't kick someone out of the church because they show up with two inch heels. You fucking missed it. That's not the appearance that slays your chances of getting into the kingdom. Mm-mm. -mm. So, I think I've added enough clarity to why Divergence, <laughs> website-wise. Why isn't there a new platform to take its place? You know what? Again, we've had a series of events that took place that stopped that from happening. I don't, I don't do a lot of stuff until at the very last moment when I'm instructed or pushed to go do it. 
there, there is another alternate platform coming, but you know what? My live presentations is the wisdom system. This YouTube video you're watching right now, or if you're watching it on a, however you're watching it, this is the website for now. The Telegram groups are the website for now. To have one collective platform where we can all just come in and we're in a little hub, yeah, that's still coming. But just expand on the hub for a moment in your mind. It got to the point where, you know what, $100,000 was not going to still get the website that I wanted. So then it's like, you know what, fuck, I don't want to spend a hundred grand on a website out of my personal funds yet. I'm just going to wait till the estates pay for it. And by estates, I technically mean trusts. Whenever you hear the words estate, again, estate is for a dead thing. A trust is for a living thing. So whenever you hear the term, oh, we're just trying to collect on our estates, collect on our estates. This is just a further expression of the trust. Yeah, something happens to the person, and the moment you stop breathing life into it as the liable party, it sort of withers and dies. It kind of dies. It deceases. It kind of, its status, its position slightly changes. It goes for an undertaking. It kind of is still in a state, but it's over there. Let's just focus more on the word trust. Oh, people are trying to trying to tap their trusts, not their estates, okay? Tap their trusts. This, that's a better way of performing or saying it. Again, the premise here is that we're laying down principles that get us further in the life spectrum with regards to the eternal version of it. If you're an asshole and you get access to your trust funds and you start using it for ill purposes, that just makes more work for me. I'm of the opinion that I'm going to have a super refined, super sharp group of elite. And again, I don't even like using that word because we instantly connect it with other assholes out there that are controlling the planet right now. I'm talking about the elite spiritual ones that have a heart and actually give a shit and care. That don't eat babies. I don't know. It's not that fucking hard to expect. I'm thinking. Point being, I'm putting together a super sharp program. Only few are going to get into there. A few. 144 for sure and will there be men involved in that of course here's the thing though i had to take the man's presence and amalgamate it a little bit more with the woman's because there is way too much inability to communicate there's way too much confusion there's way too much static between us we still can't communicate effectively we can't restore the garden when we can't communicate effectively so I'm trying to take a group of a select group of women, show them a whole bunch of things and, 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 and experiences that they never even thought was possible, throw them into this little situation, let them experience it, let them learn, let them develop, let them grow, come out the other side with greater wings. Because at one point, these are the ones that are going to be commanding the angels. Do you think I would put a little bit of effort into developing that? Otherwise, says, I'm a fucking embarrassment to father. I've never been an embarrassment, ever, in anything I've done. Not once. I don't fail very often. As a matter of fact, if I had to think back to the last time I seriously failed or fucked up, I'd have to go way back. Why? Because I take things that seriously. And yet, you got to be able to balance that with the humility of not being consumed and just still flowing in the moment. As soon as you worry, you're in the past. As soon as you are, 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 are stressed because of anticipatory events, you're in the future. Stay right here. We are much more powerful when we're centered. When you're fragmented off to the left or the right, you're weak. I can blow you over with a little bit of that. Satan can eat you. And he knows it. He doesn't even... He doesn't, you don't get extra attention because you're already fragged out there. You just... You're out, you're out in the peripheral doing what everybody else is doing. You're very easily controllable from Satan's point of view. Those who start to center up, those who start to find that path, those are the ones that are a threat to the darkness. Those are the ones that get extra attacked on their way to that centering moment. 
This is the SEAL program I'm talking about. This is the Queen School that I'm talking about. We've had a lot of women come and go. Lots. But our program is actually developing. Our queens are developing where we can instantly identify certain attributes in up-and-coming queens and start, and start to help them right here rather than three months later. Why act on it in three months when we saw it here? And now this is where some of the queens will come off as, I don't want to say heavy-handed, but it'll come off as, yeah, because we don't have time. I don't want to be dealing with this again in three months. Well, I will if I have to. Again, I do enjoy doing these videos. Point is, loved ones, is that we're here to lay down a certain amount of track. This track is headed in an alternate path to the ones we were on formerly. This new path is putting us in a position where we thought was not possible. Yeah, we may have dreamt about it when we were children. We've heard fairy tales about it, but we never really thought it could be true. Why? Why did you think it could not be true? Because your mom or your dad or your aunt or uncle or your grandpa, or your friend told you yeah, that can't be true? So you believed them over yourself? This is why I got to slap you. Punch you. Kick you in the balls if I have to. Something to jog you out of that state of being. So when it feels like you're being slapped by the queens, you are. And that's a direct slap from me. The queens don't do nothing without my green light. They're in a position where they become the green light. Where they, the, the group of them... I loved ones, if you saw how much these women talk all day and develop and correspond and engage and develop programs and teaching tools and classes and meditations and all this stuff. It's a full-time job plus. The commitment and the determination and the level that these women rise to and the, and the input that they put in every day was, is, is humbling. Because I see it. And I know I'm putting together a pretty elite little group. A guy, I, again... I had this program, I've been implementing this for a, a while now. Not that long ago, the Dalai Lama makes a public statement saying that we will all be, civilization will be saved by Western women. <laughs> Angel bumps. Yeah, by West, Western women or women? Okay, a Western woman. I thought it was Western women. Point is, I think I might know who some of those women are. Because if they're not trained in equity, they're 3D. Anyone trained in equity has the ability or has already gotten to that. Four, four, they're at least in 4D. Headed to 5. And it has nothing to do with wearing makeup. It has nothing to do with heels. It's whether they know how to not act in person. That's the mask we need to be focusing on, loved ones. Not the physical one you see. See, this is how... You, this is how easily you're deceived. This is why Satan was able to just run and do what he did over all of us until a select group of chosen ones finally rose and were bold as lions and some. Again, I don't even think a lion is descriptive enough given what we've done. The average guy rising to shit... Hang on for a second. The average guy rising to it would be a lion. I'm suggesting that. Okay, so the world will be saved by the Western woman. So, I'm looking at it right now. Again, that's just, he made, I don't know when he made that statement, but I only heard about it a couple of months ago. So again, I'm going to hit it a third time now. <laughs> Jody is not the reason the Divergence platform came down. Your opinion aside because I'm literally setting it aside right now because it doesn't matter. I'm setting... Here's a motion to set aside a suit at law for fraud. Setting an opinion aside because it's ignorant of the facts. See how your opinion doesn't matter? It's, it's absent facts. The only opinion that matters is mine. I'm the one with the first-hand knowledge. I'm the one with all the parts and pieces... I'm the one putting this whole thing together. What else do I got to touch on there? So, 
When the queens come across with their slap, it's coming from me, and if you attack a queen, you're attacking me. See how this works? Where's King's School fitting into all this? The King's School is a result of Queen's School. I gotta get the women in the play in, in, in their proper position first. There's a gu there's a there's a lineup of guys who are ready to be kings. Yeah, I know. Dean and I know a bunch of them. They're already there. What's not there are the queens. We gotta balance this. The world. I don't want to call it society because that's social. This thing, this matrix that we're in, it has a very heavily influenced state of being for men. Again, scripture talks about the men. It's the men. It's the constructs of men. We will all be deceived by constructs of men. Does it say, oh, and women? No. Guys have been running the show for thousands of years. We can't evolve as a species until we get that balanced. Come on. Show me a species out there that that doesn't work where the male and female are working together. How often do you see in the animal kingdom the, the, the male and female of a species fighting to undo their own family unit? I know there's one spider that once she's impregnated, she eats the male. Okay, I know that one. But other than that, there's very little conflict in the animal structure where the man and woman don't communicate effectively and do what they're meant to do. Mankind? We have a big fucking problem with that. We haven't figured out how to communicate effectively. Venus and Mars, oh, whatever you want, however you want to describe it. There is a misapplied something here. There's an energy that's not lining up. Why is it not lining up? Why is it misaligned? I'm going to suggest it's because we were unduly influenced by a dark evil force to start with. And there's a whole bunch of men in history that feed on that source and have really helped to put a system together that is not a, with your best interest in mind. I have everybody's best interests in mind. I have to. That's the way that this works. If I didn't have that in mind, continuously, I wouldn't be able to do the things I do. I'm in a position to share. I have no problems throwing pearls to swine. Again, that needs to be read and heard and observed with the proper frame of mind. If you've, what's the, okay, I know we've talked about this before, but what, what's the pearl? Is Darren literally talking about going and finding a pearl? Is he really going to talk about taking a pearl and throwing it to pigs? Is that what the Bible's talking about? What's the pearl? Is it wisdom? Or is it actually a little thing that came out of a clam that for some reason man thinks is super valuable? Kind of like diamonds. Are we just kind of idolizing things again? Again, pearls, gold, bronze, steel, wood, all of that stuff. All these material things. Don't equate material things to knowledge. Scripture is just saying, hey, it's trying, to, it's trying to identify knowledge as being a pearl. So don't throw knowledge to filthy creatures. With the internet today, uh, we have the ability to broadcast pearls. I'm going to throw pearls out there. I have nothing but baskets full of pearls. This is what this is all about. And if a swine happens to ingest one of these pearls and it goes down and it gets excreted out the other end, if that pearl served no purpose to that filthy creature, great, someone's going to come along and pick up that pearl again because it doesn't die. It's... It, it's it's intrinsically valuable. It has value. I can throw wisdom to a pig all day long. Because that wisdom will just go right through the pig, right? Something will benefit from that wisdom somewhere, somehow. Everything coming out of this voice, this power, is going to be for the benefit of something, somewhere. And I actually don't mind talking to filthy pigs. Because you know what? Sometimes hiding amongst the filthy pig... There may be an angel in there. 
So the fact that I jumped into the pig pen, started fucking throwing pearls everywhere, looking for angels. I don't think I'm going to get in trouble for that one. Why? Because I have an endless supply of pearls, for one thing, which is why I don't have the same regard to it like gold. It just flows. I'm going to share it with everything. I'm going to share pearls of wisdom to a plant. To a dog. The pearl, the wisdom, is supposed to represent or supposed to present a loving present nature in you, which is the 70% that I'm trying to develop through the Queen's loved ones. I've broken this down. I've did a little bit of mind bending on this one. I kind of equated it to the equity side of this, the paperwork side of this is about 30%. It's by itself, it's fantastic. But we are looking for more. It was the spirituality side is what we are truly here to appreciate and observe. That's the 70%. What I'm getting at is you can be an asshole. And I know there's some out there. There's some on our chats as a matter of fact. You can be an asshole and get 30% and have your debts paid for. Great. Are you getting into the kingdom? Not a fucking chance. Because you can only get in there through me. Sound familiar? It should. I have come to the underst inner understanding that the equity paperwork side is great, but I need it in your heart. I need to be able to see it in you. Because at the end of the day, we're gonna be able to, I'm going to be able to boil the 30% down to a handful of sentences. There, that's it. So you see how insignificant that is? And yeah, it's fucking huge. Don't get me wrong. But it's insignificant compared to the 70% of the spiritual side. We, I need to see the loving, the charitability, the compassion. Those attributes. The trust, the love, the honesty, all, all that stuff. Aside from the 30% of the paperwork. Because when the truths are finally revealed, the 30% is not what's going to get you into the kingdom. I'm already laying down the track to fill that void. Because I've been told, don't concentrate on the papers. And again, by the paperwork, I'm just talking about the knowledge. I know there's people out there, yeah, of course, you can go in and viva voce this shit all day long and just talk it. Am I at that level? Yeah, of course. Framing your petition, how would you do that? Well, it's all about, okay, the matter or matter. What's this matter? This is a suit for what? What's the next four words? A suit for? That is very indicative of the framing of our petition. And again, loved ones, I'm going to start letting the cat out of the bag here a little bit more too. Do we need to go, <laughs> do we need to, go to court to do this? No. I've said that before. Here's what I did do though. I'm teaching you and I'm putting pearls into you as if you have to go to court. Courts are for constructive conflicts. Courts are for dispute resolution. Courts are to settle a dispute. Really, that's all they do. We can undo the dispute without going to court, loved ones, but I want to get you at a place of confidence where you have done your paperwork, you have practiced in the mirror, talking to a judge, so that now you're ready to actually get the job done. The moment you're ready to get the job done is when you pass the test. Here, you did. I could probably go onto the Die 5 live Telegram chat right now and probably pick out a good group of people who are doing the work. How do I know? Well, because they're they're contributing every fucking day. Look at look at what Carol's saying. Look at what Judy's doing. Look what Nat's put out. Look what look what Dennis just did. I can develop a criteria. I can put together a group. I can literally send out a private message and say, okay, here. You don't have to go to court. You can literally engage the attorney general and get him to do all this for you. I've said that in the past. Ultimately, that is the way to do this. We're trying to get away from a 3D construct. So why do we want to more jump and use more 3D principles to undo the thing that we're trying to do in 3D? See, wrong. There's still a method here where you can express shit to the Attorney General. 
step right over to that 3D world, pass it off to him, her. They now take over. They go to court for you. They represent the trust. Ah. I know. Because I really didn't want to have to go to court, right? Well, wrong. You wouldn't have been as strong if I didn't force you or if I didn't... If I didn't mislead you to believe you had to go to court, I'm here to make you better. This is the 70%. Once you're in a place where you're complete, when you're perfect, when you're clean, that's when you move on. That's when you ascend. I can't let you ascend until I see evidence of a whole bunch of that stuff. And now you're saying, oh, well... So now, Darren, we have to approve ourselves to you? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, kind of. But it's not just me. It's who I report to. Do you see how this chain of events works? These eyes and ears are just a reporting mechanism like I alluded to earlier. Show me who you are. So that I can say, hey, Father, guess what? Carol, yeah, she's the real deal. Put her through. Again, loved ones, all of this stuff that we do online here, this is all recorded. The NSA, nothing on this planet goes through any digital platforms without the NSA knowing about it. Everything. You have the ability to create a live record for yourself right now. A judge could go back and look at anything I've talked about in the last two years if he had to make a decision as to my character or what it is I stand for or where my heart's at or whether I'm speaking the truth or just more bullshit. I've been laying down a live record what do you think the live record is? Could that be the third book? You all have a chance to write your book right now. Why aren't you? Because you didn't think it was possible? Really? Start time stamping shit. When you put Darren 732, the time stamp is just a second witness. A miracle is not recognized unless it's witnessed by something or someone, correct? Is it a miracle if no one saw it? Not really. See how this works? Use the internet as your digital record. Be mindful of every fucking word that comes out of your mouth. Be mindful of every emotion that you try to express. If you're going to come out with bullshit, if you're going to come out with contro controversy, if you're going to come out with just questions, better be mindful of your questions. It's all being recorded. You might want to take it upon yourself to undo some questions or come and receive some more light. Because if your questions are framed in a, in a manner where it casts doubt, where it casts shadows, or where it may even imply untruths, you might want to just be careful of your questions. I'm just saying, be mindful. Does it directly affect me? Fuck no. But I'm worried about you. <laughs> Love your enemies, right? When I was on the cross last time, I said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Are you hearing it yet? I hope so. But I'm not going to stop. And I'm going to find the 144 women with the other queens that we have working with us. They're an incredible group. I would go into a spiritual battle with these ladies all day. Can I do that with you, ABC? <laughs> See where we're going? I hope so. Okay, loved ones. Uh, yeah, you know what, today, because I suggested, I'm just going to take a block out of the deed. I'll probably even start with the title page so you can see our trust indenture and security agreement made by blah, blah, blah. I'll just do a chunk of that so you can see the initial styling. And then I'm just going to go and pull out a paragraph or two or three. So you can see, oh my God, this is so fucking technical. Yeah, I know. Because you want this to go through. It needs to be in the same kind of language that they're already familiar with. This is going to be so that you could send off paperwork to a bank with perfected securities with your package. And you could probably open up a special account for set-off if you know how to do it by expressing the trust and attaching all these things properly. And does it have to be technical? Yes. Because it's going to their legal department. If you send off a piece of paper that says, yeah, I want a set-off account, and that's all you say, do you think you're going to get the set-off account? No. You gotta talk in the language that they talk in. So this is where I have put a fair bit of energy into, into developing this deed. Again, because I want the first handful of them to actually go through. We will fine tune it more and more and more as we go as again. 
that'll be crayoned as we go. However, when you see the styling and you see the knowledge that's going into these documents, it'll start to materialize pretty quick well as to why it takes a little bit of time to put these deeds together. Uh, okay, so I think Monday, uh, so we got another Q&A uh, at 7 p.m. I guess that's our time. And if that doesn't work for you, you'll have to watch the rerun on YouTube. No problemo. Uh, we will be bouncing these time frames around. We are already doing it with our queens uh, and their doings in the background. Again, we got loved ones all around the planet. It's kind of it's pretty hard to find one particular moment in time that satisfies all. So we're doing our best to accommodate in that respect. And moving forward, yes, the deed is pretty much done. Um, the framing of the petition, I'll go over that as well. And again, you know, Dennis, thank you for your questions because it led to all of this. So having said that, loved ones, I think we've covered just about enough for now. And until the next one, which probably will be sooner than later. Okay, loved ones. See you soon.